Hello, I am going to talk to you about this wonderful case that I just got. This is a treble woodwind case by Reed and Squeak. It's for clarinet, saxophone and flute. And honestly, love this instrument case so much. It's amazing. And you can see it's pretty much the same size as a saxophone case. And just as heavy, I bet you it's awesome. So I'm going to show you what it's like. So here is the case. We are going to dive into the first pocket, which I have used to just store my swabs, as you can see right there. How glamorous. Oh, yes. And a polishing cloth. Really good, that is. If you have a performance or just want to be have some sparkly instruments, basically. Next, we have this pocket where I've put my slings and then I have a hand support because I've got tenor synovitis, then this pocket is actually supposed to be used for putting your flute, as you can see there. It's a really big pocket. That's why I've used them to store my slings as well, which is very handy, but not very handy for the flute, I must say. But let's just dive into the rest of the bag. Okay, here's the first pocket inside, and it's a velvet one where you can store your laptop or a tablet. I've put my laptop in there because it's used also as a tablet which is really handy for reading music off of. Then you have a pocket at the front where you can put reeds or whatever really. I've just chucked my fingering chart for my clarinet book in there and then yes let's just go into the rest of it. So here, here, oh, oh okay yes there you go that seems to work right now. This is just a foam pouch here that you can just use to keep the saxophone stable inside the instrument so it's not wiggling around. Yeah, there you go. There's a little foam pouch you have there. It comes with another one as well you can chuck inside, but one seemed to be doing fine for me. Then you have another... Oh, there you go. <laughs> then you have another pouch at the front near the top of a saxophone, which is more vulnerable, which is good to chuck there. As you can see, it's very stable in that case. Yeah, the only issue I have with this pouch first is that it's got a bit of a zip, which might scratch the instrument. But what I do is I just stick it inside so it's not just jingling about and then chuck it in that sort of position. Then you have next to it a pouch that you can chuck your mouthpiece and your neck. So... I don't know why I have to show you this mouthpiece, but let's give it a wiggle, shall we? Doo -doo! Yay! <laughs> yeah, that fits in there easily. And then another zip pouch for my neck, which is really handy. There you go. How shiny is that? Lovely. Okay. I could put more in there, but that seems to be quite a good amount of stuff that I can chuck in that instrument. Well, not instrument, in that pocket, sorry. Next are these bits for my clarinet. There you go. It looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> this one's quite a big pocket, so I just chuck my reeds in there, as you can see, and other stuff. Yes, that's my clarinet reed case that I have. Then I have some Rizzler paper, as you can see, and some earplugs. Oh, look at those. They look like Christmas trees. That's my <laughs> saxophone one. Bam! There you go. Show you some reads there. A pencil, always needed. Yes. Then I have, mm, not so nice, but it's my mouth guard. There you go. <laughs> Everyone needs one of those, I think, personally. But Rizzler paper is great as well. So that's the pouch for my clarinet mouthpiece right there. Very handy. Zoom in. Whoop. There you go. Lovely piece of stuff. I actually have another, yeah, <laughs> gotta love that is lever. There's another one here that's supposed to be for my saxophone, but I don't really need it because I've got one there. Then all the bits in here fit really nicely actually into this part. So, yeah, take out the foam bits. Here's the top bit of the clarinet, as you can see. <laughs> then the bell fits in there quite well. Um, then you have one of the barrels which you can fit another one in there too. This is actually really good. It's my thumb rest, so it fits pretty well in there and nothing scratches, which is great. Another barrel, yes, we can see that. 
Oh, ah, oh, and some cork grease. Oh, oh no. This isn't going to focus, is it? Come on, come on. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Yeah, and it's upside down. Well done. Not very good camera skills. I know I apologise. And then the bottom of the clarinet. Ta-da! All done. These are the foam bits that come for this section. They're really handy, actually, because they keep the clarinet secure in there. But... Yeah, they don't wreck it because obviously they're foam, aren't they? They're not going to exactly crush a clarinet to death. I'm just going to chuck everything back in here. Um, come on, let's get it all in. Oh, wrong way round. Ta-da, there you go. Squish that in. <laughs> it's really handy how much you can really fit in this case. That's what I love so much about it. And it's surprisingly not heavy, which is amazing. Oh. Oh God, why am I so bad at using a camera? Oh, there you go, back in to frame. Let's zip this bad boy up. And then I'll show you the back of the case. How exciting. Mm. <laughs> yeah, these straps, they are secured like so, which is really good. And the back of it, oh, look at these backpack straps, gorgeous. Can you recognise this bit? Yeah? Got a bit of a... Thing. There you go. That kind of shows it's for driving seatbelts. And it's made in the UK. Fabulous. Whoop, whoop. That's all of that for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. I recommend everyone gets this case because it's... Yes! Great. <laughs> Thank you.